Hello what is going on guys it's your favorite youtuber Hunter on Hive here and today we are going to build and tier 2 the new paywall exgen sub character Kitty Pride and test her out on various game modes to find what her potential is Kitty Pride is one of the oldest X-Men members and has the ability of phasing through walls and objects so that indeed makes her strong at defense but in the game on the other hand Kitty is very weak on her defense. She is odd to have high dodge on her kit, but for some strange reason she does not. Her only chance at her survivability are the iframes she has. All of her skills except her third are iframes. Third is to an iframe but only at the end. As far as I can tell and as much as I hate saying it After investing in so much in her, she is good for Shadowland. She can clear World Boss Ultimate but cannot go as high as some meta characters in the game. Not that she is not good. She is very good, but for a premium character, you do have a lot higher expectations, which I don't really think she fulfills duly. Perhaps I am wrong or missing something here. I was so sad when I actually saw her in action that she is so weak in her survivability. Only a few hits from Corvus were enough to literally kill her. I think that Marvel tried to do her justice but god awfully failed at it. For a paywall character like her, I can say that Kid Omega is even stronger than Kitty Pride. While Kid Omega is a free to play character, So by that itself you can guess how weak she really is. The gaps on her iframes are painful. I understand if they make all her skills complete iframes, she will be untouchable. But perhaps something more could have been given to her. It sounds funny, but she is the most expensive Shadowland character in the game. If you are buying X jeans, I'll strongly suggest go for some other character but not her as for now. I guess a uniform will make her somewhat useful or maybe strong enough to sustain amongst the other meta characters in the game but in her current state she is a complete no not at all nada I am a big fan of Kitty Pride in X-Men movies as well as comics but not at all how she is in the game I heard from some people while I was building her that she is not that strong but still I fought my way through because come on how awful can they make a paywall She must be strong at something but by the time I realized they literally made her god awful and for real she was night crawler level it was already too late and I had her at 6 star with some gears maxed out so I decided to finish her and I think this would be it for her for a long time she might be good only if not marvel increase her dodge by a bit or perhaps remove lokai completely yes completely loka in fact instead of helping her out becomes the dust in the eye as the boss or enemy keeps on attacking and phasing even when she is in her iframe canceling her skill which is the worst that can happen during a fight some people will say that she is good with ctp of rage but come on which character is bad with a ctp of rage modok being an exception jokes apart For a free to play or a semi free to play, you better go for someone better. Her lead is the only good thing she has. But will you buy a character only for her lead? Nope. There are plenty other characters who can compensate on that. Maybe if she gives a lead and tier 2 passive of Nick Fury's level, perhaps she will be of some value. But they lost me with this one to be honest. I think they plan on making her bad for now so they can make her op with a uniform in the future and for a fact i know it is coming so it is completely up to you if you want to build her up i'll suggest if you are a fan have all the characters maybe get her but for others i'll strongly suggest against it go for namor instead or juggernaut all hell go for jubilee but not her at least for now And for those who have built her and have her at tier 2, please do not invest any more on her for now. Let her be as is. 
She'll help you and me push one stage higher on Shadowland, LOL. As far as her build go, I gave her power of angry hulk for ISO 8 set, all 6 star ISO 8, guard break, ignore defense, 5 second invincible obelisk to be for survivability by a little, no urus for now or maybe not for a very long time. Her stats seem great now but only in numbers, the output still remains god awful. As for world boss ultimate, she can maybe do stage 25 to 30 for each boss but that will make you scratch your head, throw your phone away, hit the wall and what not because you'll die so many times before you finally clear it once. So better stay out of that league. For me, I think I'll live with the regret of choosing her over other characters like Juggernaut, Jubilee and Weapon Hex and will be happy about finally getting Namor to tier 3. I understand for a fact that making every character meta and OP is also not healthy for, a, for the game, but at least some more love could have been given to her to justify her being paywall. So that was it for today's video guys, world boss ultimate and shadowland clears using kitty pride are after this epilogue, do watch it to see her in action. Did you enjoy the video? If you did, do hit me in the comments down below. And if you are new to the channel or are not yet subscribed, what are you doing? Go hit that subscribe button and turn the post notification on to never miss an update. This is Hunter on Hive signing out. Peace. Person you are